Hello everyone, this is Sasha aka Your Frugal Friend and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a mock-up image for your digital product. This is a printable digital product in this mock-up for your Etsy shop or any other place that you put listing images to sell your product such as Shopify. You can even put an image like this on a blog, whatever you want to do. So you can use the free version of Canva to create this mock-up. It used to be in the past that these cool hand elements like this, hands grabbing, hands writing, were in Canva Pro, but they've just listed a whole bunch of free hand elements for you to use for your mock-ups. You can use Canva Pro elements to create mock-ups and marketing materials, but you can't, um, but you can't sell them. So you can use the Canva Pro ones and usually like I said, these hand elements and stuff are pro elements, but this one in particular is a free Canva element. So if you have Canva free you can, and you don't have a pro account, you can use this and there won't be like a watermark on it when you go to download it and use it. Okay, so how do I create this type of listing? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a page to this so I have a blank template. And then what I do is I go to elements and I type in the, wor the word wood. And I do this so that I can create a wood background for my mock-up. And I like to do this for printable po products for like the lifestyle photo of the product in use, just so it looks really realistic because people want to buy products that they can envision themselves using in real life. So then I have my wood background. Then I go to like my uploads and I'm gonna you know, choose my product that I want to show you this with. So I have here a human bingo game. So this is something that, um, that I sell in a commercial use template of mine. You can find more information about my commercial use templates underneath this video. So then I put a shadow on this by going to edit image and you can type in the word shadow if you don't have the shadow uh, feature there. It's like you have to add it in, it's an app that you have to sync with your Canva account. So you just type in the word shadow, you click on shadows, and then it'll bring it up, it'll open it up, and then you go to glow, and it'll add a glow shadow to your product that you want to create a mock-up for. And I love glow shadows because they provide a shadow around the entire product, and it just makes it look like how a piece of paper looks when it's laying on a desk. It's like my favorite shadow in Canva. So then I'm going to go to elements to find that hand that I want to use for my product. I just type in the word hand. So then I go to see all from the photos section. So then I have all of these hands here and what I'm looking for is a hand grabbing. So this is the hand that I use there here. And so usually with these types of um, hands, you will have to you know, cause you can't just, you can't just take this hand here and then, you know, do the, uh, the product and then do position and then do forward because then it's on top of the hand. We're trying to create a multi -dimen dimensional sandwich layering look. So it'll be, you know, the thumb on top of the paper and then the rest of the hands underneath, like you're grasping it. And so in order to do this, we have to actually take our hand and then I like to turn it here and then you make a copy and then you paste so control C control V is my way of doing that so then we have this layer of our hand here so then what we want to do is we want to we want to take this here and we want to we want to take this and move it over so that we have just the hand or the thumb part right there so then what you want to do is you see here we have our you want to make sure this looks real so you're going to want to move that like that so it looks like the real hand and so then what you're going to do is you're going to put your printable product in a way that makes it look like it's being sandwiched in between the layers of the hand so that's all you have to do you just have that one layer on the bottom you create a copy you move it down so that it creates this layered sandwich look and then you can select all these if you want move it up so that it can be more centered in your page. You can also, you know, go over here and go to elements and type in pen. And then you can put a, um, a pen or a pencil in there. And I believe that, okay, if you want to filter to see if you can get free elements here, you can do that. So we have a little pen here or a marker. I guess it's an eyeliner pen, 
We don't want to use that. So I don't know if they have a free pen that we can use or a pencil. We can probably type in pencil. See what we find. Oh, here we go, cool. So we have these here. You can put these over here and you can move this over here. And then you can even put a little edit image shadow on these guys, a little glow. And then you can also, you know, blur this out so it's not so harsh. Take that transparency, move it down, just so it looks like it's real and it's on the paper, it's on the table. And so that's it. That's all you do to create a realistic, super awesome and super um, amazing uh, mock-up image that can help you sell your products better.